you having difficulties extracting the hair details from the background? That's the topic we are going to talk about today. Hi guys, this is Naveed Iqbal here. So today we are going to talk about how to extract those hair details from the background. I'm going to select any selection tool from the side. And if you're using the new version of Photoshop, you can see this select subject. So if I click on select subject, the Photoshop is going to create a rough selection of the subject. And then I click on this mask icon right here. And now you see we have this our image here and then we have our background. We want to place our image on. So if you double click on this mask icon on the side and then click on select and mask and you will be greeted by this panel. And if you are using the older version of Photoshop, let me show you something. If I press cancel on this one and uh, let me show you a slide. So basically this is the difference between older version and a new version of Photoshop. The options are almost same. The positioning is different but the options are almost same. You see the view mode is still same and the edge detection tool is still there and the adjustment edges is changed to global refinements. All of these options are almost same and if you prefer to use the older option in older version of Photoshop simply select the mask and press the shift key on your keyboard and click on the select and then select and mask and here you will be greeted with the same old panel but in this tutorial I will stick with the new one I think the new one is better and uh, well end of the day they both are same so I'm going to press cancel so I double click on this icon and click on select and mask from the view select the onion skin and then reduce the opacity around 50 percent so you can see the background and your subject in front but here are the two basic things you need to keep in mind when extracting a subject from the background like this so there are two different services you are going to deal with one are plain services like skin or like clothing or any fabric on the subject in this case we have the cap is nice clothing the rest of the area is covered by the hair so in this case we are going to focus on the plain services first so if you have any clothing or skin or anything which can be selected easily we are going to refine those selection first and then we move to hair refining so in my first step i'm going to ignore all the hair details because I'm just focusing on the plain surfaces. So I'm just having a look what do we have in our subject. Our subject is mostly covered with the hair all this area. But on the top she is wearing a cap. So I will make sure the cap has been selected nicely. Which is in this case yes. We have this area here which needs to be taken out from the selection. So what I'm going to do I will, I will select this select, quick selection tool. And I click on this negative or minus sign in order to reduce or subtract the selection and click or paint in this area. You see, so I need to decrease the size of this brush so I can zoom in and click this area. And that's it. Now I'm going to click on this plus sign and I'm going to add selection. I'm going to paint on this area again. Let me increase the brush size a bit. This should be full. Just paint on this area and get the selection. Don't worry about the edges, we come back to it. And reduce the brush size and paint on this area. Once you are happy with it, let me zoom out. And that's it now our cap has been selected nicely if I zoom in you can see all those jitter edges on the, on the top so what I'm going to do I'm going to plane those areas first and then I move to the hair as I said earlier so let me select this view from black and white and let me zoom in so you can see what's going on here you see all those jitter edges I'm going to smooth them a bit nicely that will do just a little bit, not that much, and then increase the contrast a little bit. And once you are happy with it, click on the onion screen and 
zoom out okay once you are happy with the selection zoom out and that is fine so I'm happy with the selection of the cap ignoring all the hair details because I'm not focusing on the hair now so once you are happy with everything I'm not touching all these areas for now simply select the layer mask from the bottom and press ok so here now we have defined our cap area now in second step we are going to focus on the hair details so I'm going to click on the mask again double click and click select and mask now this time we are going to select this brush from the side it's called uh, refine edge brush tool so I click on it same you can increase you can add or, delete or subtract the selection from here and that's the size or size and hardness of the brush like a normal brush so I'm going to zoom in I'm happy with the size and I'm going to paint on this hair now you see if I increase the transparency now all these hair this area is not selected you can see all these hair which area is visible that is selected which area is not visible that is not selected so I'm going to add the refine edge tool to add those remaining hair into our selection so let me reduce it a bit so. okay so I'm going to paint on this hair now please don't be in rush because these things takes time simply click and paint on these areas wherever you see those areas are I'm just simply painting on them and then the refine edges to basically what is happening now we are asking Photoshop to look into these areas and then the Photoshop algorithm help us selecting those eight details let's increase the size of this brush a bit and paint on these areas Please pay attention on the traction of the brush where it is going. So basically I'm painting on this area and Photoshop is basically deciding or uh, the algorithm basically deciding what area needs to be included and what area needs to be excluded from the selection. So simply paint on it. Out this area, and then this area, we have one this area there. We are getting all this selection in our hair, but nobody will come back to it. But for now, we are just refining the hair, reduce the size of the brush, and pause for a short. That is fine. Now, come to this side. Let me reduce the transparency so I can see what the remaining areas are there. Let me add it to it. these areas. Now, basically, I'm adding all those left out hairs into our selection. You see, those hairs are becoming visible, so that's mean those hairs are being added into our selection. And here in this area, I'm going to select this tool and going to subtract this area from the selection. Here we go. All this area is gone. I'm going to select the refine edge tool again and ask for a show to look into this area, please, and add all those remaining areas there if we have any. Make sure you don't paint on this edge, the edge of the cloth. Because we already dealt with the plane surfaces. Now we get, we don't want to touch those plane surfaces again. Okay, I'm going to press Ctrl 0 to see the whole document and press OK.
and now you see how nicely we have extracted the subject from the background you see all those hair details now if i press hold from the keyboard or option for the keyboard and click on this mask you will see what is happening here basically you see all these areas the grays and blacks so for now i'm going to press hold and click on this mask and you see so for now our subject has been blended nicely with our background but if the background is different let me create another layer so you know what i'm talking about create a solid color layer press ok and put underneath it now you see all these grayish areas now it really depends what background you are working on so i suggest if you want to put your subject onto a different background put the background behind and then you see if you need more work to define those edges in my case if i'm having this background for this background this subject the hairs are working absolutely fine but if you're having difficulties there's a solution for it so if you simply click press hold from the keyboard or option from the keyboard and click on this mask you see the mask area there so press B from the keyboard to select the brush and then click on the brush and make sure you select the soft rounded brush and then click and zoom in. We are in the mask now. You know how the mask works basically the black hearts and white shows. So I'm going to paint on this area to get rid of those shades of gray. So if I simply paint on it, make sure your foreground color is black and simply paint on it. Let's reduce the flow to mm, 20% and paint on this area now if you paint on this area you see what is happening you are painting on the whole details you know everything is vanishing everything is mixing up with the mask what blending option do I have which can preserve my white and black but can remove the grays any idea hmm? yes okay what if I select the overlay mode from there and now paint on this area and let's see what happens if you pay attention here you see what is happening here now the overlay mode what is doing it removing the gray shades it is preserving the white it is preserving the black it is not touching any white or any black but only it is affecting the gray area in between that's what the overlay blend mode, blend mode does so simply paint on it Now if you paint on the white by mistake, it is not working. Look, I'm clicking and I'm moving by it's not working. And if you're clicking on this area, it is not it only affects the gray shades. That's why we selected the overlay mode. Come this side, you see all these edges. Simply remove them. Just simply paint over them. And once you're happy with it, press Ctrl 0 to see the whole canvas and press hold from the keyboard and option and click on the mask again now you see all those things are there let me remove the background and you see that's how you easily select the subject so let me summarize a bit so when we work with the selector mask or refine edge tool so we have selected our subject first and then we worked on the plain surfaces in plain surfaces means skin or clothes or in another case we put the our subject have the cap so we work on the plain surfaces first and once you are happy with it then we move to the hair details and once you are moving when you are touching or refining all those hair details make sure you don't touch the plain surfaces and if you see something which needs to be done please ensure or finish the refine hair details first and then apply ok and then come back to the properties again to uh, address the plain area or whatever area which uh, which is more relevant to the hair so i hope this tutorial will help you out to extract the subject from a busy background and preserve all those hair details if you have any questions please feel free to drop them in the comment section if you are here first time on my channel please do consider subscribing and hit like so that's it for now hopefully i see you in the next video so until then 